Good morning. <laughs> Last night was a pretty busy night for me. There's a lot been going on energy wise and lots of clarity been coming through. And I get to speak with Jesus quite often. He's one of my gurus my guides and we were talking about the word you know it's said in the bible i don't know the exact words but first there was the word and a lot of people translate that to mean speech to mean the written word as in creation you know word came first that could mean asking, you know, we start our creation through our asking, which is true. You know, our asking might be thought, it might be out loud, it might be spoken word, but that's not the real essence of the meaning of the word. The word is the laws of the universe, the laws of creation. The law, the word is creation itself. So yeah, asking directs our focus. It channels our energy towards what we want. Sometimes we do it unconsciously because we focus on things we don't want. But the word is what happens behind our asking. Our word is law of attraction. It's, you know, when we ask for something, it's always given. And the word is that process. As soon as we ask, it's given to us instantly. It becomes. It's with us. It's around us. It is us. We are source. We are the universe. We are all things. But when we ask, it's always given. So the word is like a promise. You know, when you give someone your word, you don't give them a little package of words. You know, it's not, here's the gift of my words. When you give your word, it's actually a promise of fulfillment, a promise that you will fulfill whatever they're asking. And that's what the word is. That's what the word is. The word is the promise of fulfillment. And fulfillment always happens. It's everything we ask for is fulfilled. Every time we have contrast, we get clarity about what we do want. And there is an unconscious asking. Every time we focus on something, whether we do want it or we don't want it, there's an asking. And our life is the result of all of our asking. But when we focus on what's here, what's in the now, we're actually focusing on what was. Everything that's around us is the energy of the past. And while ever we focus on that, we're continuing to bring the past into now. We've really got to let go of looking at what's around us, except in appreciation, because that empowers us. But if we can actually let go of the past and let go of our old thinking, that frees up our moment now to be really present and to make the moment of now the best it can be. Because it's the moment of now that's creating what's next. You know, next in this next moment, next in the next hour, the next minute, the next day, the next week, the next year. If we can make this moment right now the absolute best we can make it by giving it our full attention and focusing towards only the things that we want and appreciating those things that we want, even if we haven't got them, appreciating them as if we've already got them, then we are creating what we want for tomorrow. The word is truth, it's law. It doesn't make mistakes. You've given your word to yourself that you'll have absolutely everything you want. And everything you ask for, deliberately or 
non undeliberately, not deliberately, <laughs> you're going to get. Unless you change your focus now and reroute what's coming. The more energy and the more expectation that you put behind your asking, the quicker you're going to get it. So if you see something you don't want and you have a lot of fear around it and you put a lot of energy into it, guess what you're attracting? If you see something that you really, really want, you know, and you can get excited about it and imagine it being here and that is bringing it towards you. And those positive, those high frequencies of joy and happiness and love are much more powerful than the lower ones. So, you know, we don't have to put up with crap. We don't have to put up with stuff around us we don't want. And if you can actually get out of your mind and into the moment of now, into the present, forget about what was and what's coming, just get really present. You're going to see a lot of those things around you, you know, that you've been looking for. You open yourself up to change and you open yourself up to see things differently. Anyway, have fun with it. Play with the word. Understand it. Know that it's truth. And create a beautiful day. <laughs> My love to you all. Bye for now.